Now here we are on EA Sports FC 24 and right now we're actually on the PlayStation 5 version of the game, one of the next generation versions of the game. Of course if you're on Xbox this would be the equivalent to the Xbox Series X version and pretty similar to the Series S version as well. But in this video we're not going to be focusing really on this next gen version, we're actually going to be doing a review and sort of my first impressions of the old generation version. But I thought first, first of all let's actually go into the next generation version on PlayStation 5 and just quickly go into a match, just get used to it, and then we'll quickly switch over to the old generation version to see the major differences. Just before we get into the rest of this video, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is a fantastic website where you can get games at insanely cheap prices, just like EA Sports FC 24, and save yourself loads and loads of money. There are some insane deals on there, so be sure to use the link in the description next time you want to purchase a game or a gift card for any platform, and save yourself some money. Definitely be sure to check it out using that link in the description. And in fact, I'm running a giveaway through Instant Gaming. If you purchase a game, gift card, or anything on Instant Gaming between now and the end of 2023, then you'll have a chance to win an Instant Gaming gift card. So definitely be sure that if next time you purchase a game for yourself or maybe for a friend, then just be sure to use Instant Gaming with the link in the description to have a chance of winning yourself an Instant Gaming gift card and even maybe get another game on Instant Gaming and save yourself even more money. Definitely worth checking out. Anyway, getting back into the video. Since, of course, there are two versions of the game and they don't fully cross over with each other they are a bit different so for example the pro clubs cross platform only works on the between the next generation consoles and pc and then also between the old generation consoles i believe i'm not even sure if they're i believe you can do playstation 4 and xbox one but anyways let's just i don't even know india sure sure let's do it okay so yeah we'll quickly hop into this match and then we'll determine the differences when we go on to the old generation version. So I assume all of this right now, all these cutscenes you won't get on an old generation um, kickoff. But obviously, chances are you're not just going to be sat there playing kickoff all day. But you do get this sort of thing in career mode and all of that. And I assume you won't get this on the old generation version. But there we go. We've seen a bit of that. Let's skip through. Okay, I'm playing as some... I, I don't know what team this is. But okay, so as you can see, getting a feel for the game. I feel like the general gameplay might be fairly similar obviously graphics there will be a big difference and i remember back in um the last time i played an old generation version of the game will have been fifa 21 i believe so yeah i remember when i played the fifa 21 playstation 4 version some of the menus were a bit different and it also just felt a bit more choppy in in, in general so yeah it'll be interesting to see how it feels i haven't actually i literally haven't touched the old generation version i've just finished installing it for this video but um yeah, we'll just try and defend this goal, but not defend it. So, there we go. That's a bit of the old generation. We'll just see the goal celebration. Next generation, sorry. So, there we go. And then, obviously, yeah, seeing the graphics here. Now, some of these players, I assume... I mean, that's not a face scan, is it? No chance. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it all is in the old generation version. But there we go. That's a bit of the uh, sort of cinematic there for the goal. Here's the replay. Obviously, we get the hyper motion stuff. So, we get to see a bit of that or not, actually. I'm not sure. Maybe that's actually... Maybe, maybe that's in the replay. I actually have no idea. I barely... I Usually, I just skip these things, obviously. So, it's been interesting, actually, seeing all of this play out. But anyway, there we go. Let's now go over to the old generation version of the game. So, obviously, for example, you might be wanting to play some pro clubs with some friends. And some of them might... You might be on a PS5. And they might have a PlayStation 4. Now, luckily, with this FC24, you get both generations of the game but it's in the looks way more pixelated oh my but um yeah luckily you get both generations of the game but in the standard edition you didn't used to get that you used to have to get the ultimate edition to be able to get both generations just classic ea but um here we go so let's just load in here now instantly it's different since usually on the next generation version you get a transition there now obviously i have i literally i haven't loaded up the game yet so yeah gonna have to do all of this let's quickly yeah okay 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 yeah great fantastic yeah 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 okay cool so continue okay so here we go so we're getting this cutscene at the start interesting so obviously this is just this isn't even the, i in, instantly i can tell a difference in the resolution i mean it, it looks it looks more pixelated issue when i was just loading up the game but um, so far, realistically, there's not been two. There's not been major differences. 
we're not even any gameplay yet. So let's see what the menus are like. Let's advance through all of this. Yeah, we'll keep the choice. Uh, yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. We should be into the menu now, if I remember correctly. Okay, so, so far, off the bat, this looks pretty similar. So I've got crossplay enabled. So we're able to play with people on other platforms, which is good. So let's actually just go into a kickoff here. Now, I'm interested to see what the gameplay is like. Now, I remember in some of the older FIFAs, people actually, for Ultimate Team, played the old generation version. But I feel like now there's so many different features with next gen that I remember with FIFA 23, it just seemed like the best time to upgrade to next gen if someone hadn't already. So... Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I just remember, obviously, with sort of 21 and 23, 22, there weren't many differences in terms of features. And some people preferred the gameplay of the older generation version. So they went with the older generation version of the game since they just preferred the gameplay. And obviously, the player base is going to be different. I always found that the old generation matches were harder on Ultimate Team. But, um, yeah, so it'll be interesting. Now, instantly, the models here look... The resolution doesn't look as high, as you can see for the least player there on the right, that they don't look as high resolution as they did when we were on that older, the next generation version. But let's get into a game, and I just want to see how different it is. Just a bit of a review of this old gen version, and whether, you know, it's bearable. Because I remember, yeah, back on the FIFA 21, it was just, it, the, the graphics for me were the main difference. But so far, to be completely honest with you, I mean, there is a difference if you were really to, you know, really probably look at it you can tell the difference but if you're just gonna you know get the old generation version to be able to play with people then so far okay okay never mind that is a the difference for me here is night and day really now interestingly the gameplay does feel a lot different actually this feels a lot smoother we I'm using Argentina instead of that uh, Indian team I think it was but this is this actually feels faster really I, I think maybe i see it's hard to tell i think maybe i prefer so far obviously in the first three in-game minutes i actually think the old generation gameplay feels quite nice it feels more feels way more like um fifa 22 23 so i assume they've not really changed much with the gameplay on the older generation but the actual models of the characters look hideous to be honest not well maybe that's a bit harsh but nowhere near as good as the next generation version i mean graphically it's night and day. It's actually insane. So when they were first rocking out the tunnel, I thought, okay, I can tell the difference. It's not too bad. When I actually got this pitch perspective, you can really see the difference. Now, obviously, if you've got most of your mates on the older generation version, pick the old generation version. Just not just play the next gen version. Just be by yourself. I wouldn't personally do that. I think it's better just to go on the one that most of your friends are on. But especially if you know, if you were just to, for me, if it would just be for pro clubs. Then, you know, just for pro clubs, it's not really an issue, is it? Playing, I wouldn't mind just playing on this version, to be completely honest with you. So, yeah, it's it's interesting. So, I mean, is it worth actually playing the old generation version? I think even if the if you're, you know, if friends isn't an issue and you, most people are on the next generation version and you're just deciding. Now, for Ultimate Team, I think it just has to be the next gen version now. I think this is just a bit too outdated at this point. Maybe the gameplay is a little bit better. Maybe... It is a bit, you know, maybe it is a little bit easier. I feel like you're sacrificing too much for that. And I would just start to get used to the next generation version since this is just pretty mental. It, it is a big difference. But at the end of the day, it's down to personal preference. And luckily now, the good thing is you do get both versions with the standard edition. And I think that's the first time they've done that. Maybe they did it with FIFA 23. I don't actually know. I didn't get that on PlayStation 5. But I do know that with FIFA 22 and 21, or maybe just 22, you only got the um, PlayStation 5 version or PlayStation 4 version, unless you got the Ultimate Edition of the game. So, yeah, it's nice that um, you do get both of those again. I mean, it should be like that. Why EA changed it? Well, it's EA, so, you know, let's see if we can just get a goal here with Messi. And the answer is no, close though. But, yeah, no, the difference is big for me. And, it, you know, it, I th yeah, I find, I find it's a big difference. Now we've got a goal, we'll be able to see sort of the celebrations that are in place and yeah so generally this bit's pretty similar and it looks doesn't look as bad when you've got the sort of cutscene type stuff and the transitions and everything are pretty similar but when you're actually in that pitch perspective i can really tell the difference so for me personally i would just not be for me 
it's just got to be the next gen version unless i'm playing pro clubs that really for me be the only reason i play this version of the game other than that i probably wouldn't go near it and i just play the next gen version but if you're on a playstation 4 it's still playable experience at the end of the day you're getting the latest well i, I was about to say fifa but you're getting the latest title from ea sports for um obviously you know i've done a video sort of reviewing this game as a whole and i'll link that at the end of this video and in the description so you can check that out but at the end of the day you're getting the latest i'll call it fifa you're getting the latest fifa on a playstation 4 which would look like this to be honest and it's playable it's playable it's definitely a playable experience i could easily you know if this was the only version of the game that i had access to i wouldn't complain too much i would play it at the end of the day that's, that's all i was able to do i wouldn't be moaning about it to be honest since it doesn't look awful compared to the next gen version it doesn't look you know amazing but it's still a very playable experience i could easily you know really enjoy this and you know you get ultimate team you get all of the main gameplay uh well not features but you get all of the main game modes that you get on the next gen version you get everything from ultimate team which is generally what people like the most career mode might be a bit different you don't get all like the cinematic features from next gen but at the end of the day the same core mechanics are going to be the exact same so yeah i mean look if you've got a playstation 4 or you've got an xbox one then at the end of the day you get to play the game which is good you know in 2023 getting into 2024 being able to play the latest titles is just a gift really on those older consoles since what they're about 10 years old now so yeah being able to play this on one of those consoles is by all means great and of course being able to play it on Series X and PlayStation 5, if most of your mates are on the older gen version, is also great, especially when it's included with the standard edition. But there we go. It's not bad, to be fair. It's just compared to the next generation version, it's not great. But that's a quick review and first impressions of the old generation version of EA Sports FC 24 on a PlayStation 5. But this would be pretty similar if you're on a Series X or Series S or Xbox One or, of course, PlayStation 4. Now, on PC, you don't get this version. You do just get the next gen version, unfortunately. But to be honest, that's PC. So generally... That should be fine. But either way, yeah, this was it. I just wanted to do this video. Just first impressions and a bit of a review of the old generation version. And just, you know, sort of showing you guys whether it's worth playing. And the answer is, yeah, it is. I mean, if you've got the next gen version, I would mainly focus on playing on that since there is a pretty big difference. But if you want to play on the old gen version, it is definitely a playable experience. So, yeah, pretty positive stuff, to be honest with you. And, yeah, that does just about wrap up things here. Now, on screen, you are seeing a link to a different video. Hit the link on the screen if you are interested in watching that. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.